with more and more. And here's the model of one designed to give you a lift, not a laugh. We're at Queen Mary's College, Mile End, London, in the Faculty of Engineering, where some really ingenious and useful robots have been built. The first man on the moon will take things like this with him. And word will go around the universe that half the inhabitants of the world are centipedes or bodiless bipeds like this. In point of fact, Professor Thring designed this walking machine in an investigation of mechanical ways of helping limbless people. But it would give you quite a nasty turn if, without expecting to, you happen to meet it walking down the street. Here is a model of the professor's mole miner. It can dig up minerals where it is difficult or dangerous for humans, and you can control it from up top. They'll take a man-sized version of this gadget up to the moon with them when they go. Professor Thring's mole miner robot can even go around corners, right round the bend, you might say. It seems lunatic enough for a lunar expedition, and see the full-size version of the centipede designed to march across swampy land when it's got its boots on. But the most ingenious of the robots here is the step-climbing carriage, which was built for the use of thalidomide victims. It is fitted with self-retracting hooks which get pressed out of the way on level ground. But just you see how those hooks spring into effective action when the carriage comes up against a flight of stairs. Nobody minds sharing the world or the moon with robots like this. Thank you.